in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take long form YouTube videos and making them into shorts so that you can post them onto TikTok, for example, or Pinterest and uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want it to do. But for this example, we're going to do long form YouTube video to a TikTok. Okay, so that's what we're going to be going through with today. I've gotten a couple of people asking how to do this. So I'm going to show you step by step how this works. So first of all, obviously, you need to connect your connections like YouTube is going to be the source. So you just simply do add new connection, then you click on uh, YouTube right here. And then obviously, whatever you want your destination to be like where you want the shorts to go. Um, in this example, will be TikTok. So you just add a new connection and then uh, you just go ahead and connect your TikTok. Simple as that. Now, when you're going to workflows, if you're brand new, you won't have anything here. These are just all my different workflows that I like to play around with. Um, you'll just simply go to create a new workflow on the top right and you will name it. So for this example with you guys, I'm going to be doing um, long form YouTube to TikTok. Next, now we want to choose the source, which we said was YouTube. Um, for this example, like I said, we're doing regular long form videos. So I'm just going to click on regular videos and we'll do next. Now the action is going to be upload the video. Now, normally I say upload the full video, but for this example, we're actually going to be wanting to do snippets or clips of the long form video, right? So that's really important. You need to make sure that it is on snippets and clips because we're taking a long form. We're taking snippets and clips of that and putting it on short form. Then you hit next and then our destination will be TikTok. And then you click done. Now there are some settings that we're going to be looking at so that uh, we can get this correct. Long form YouTube to TikTok shorts. So this is the workflow we did. What you want to do is go to the settings cog, click on the settings. And what we're going to want to do is change um, this to vertical video. Now we have templates here with repurpose.io that are really nice. Um, you can either create your own, your own templates, which kind of looks, you get a preview here, or you can go to predefined templates. Now let's go to predefined templates that we've already done. And there's two different kinds that we can use. You can use true vertical or fill vertical. And I'm going to show you kind of what those look like. So when we click on true vertical, it won't really show the a video on there yet. So what we'll do is we'll do save. And then that way, when we go back into long form YouTube to TikTok shorts, we'll do view content and we can actually see what some of these videos look like. So if we click on, um, you can do create snippets. Okay. So it has the video on there and you can literally select the time from what time to what time. So let's just do like a random and, and you can do create snippet and you can kind of test it out. So this one is from two minutes to two minutes and 55 seconds. So now when we go back and we look to schedule, you can actually like look to see what it looks like. As you can see, the first predefined template takes your whatever title you want on the top and then your captions on the bottom and it takes the full video and places it in there. Okay. So most people, if you're like me, you know that like short form content doesn't usually like something like that. So we might not want to do true vertical, right? So if we go back uh, to our workflows, we can tinker with that setting again. So it's like, oh, I looked at it. I saw what it looked like. Okay, I'm not really wanting that, right? So we go back to settings cog, the little cog right there, long form YouTube to TikTok. Then you go to the predefined templates. You click on fill vertical. So now we're going to look at what fill vertical looks like, okay? So we have fill vertical selected. We do save. And now we'll go back to the view content. We'll be able to look at any of our videos again. So it still has those snippets that I created from the YouTube video. So let's, if we do schedule, we can see what it looks like. So now what it does is that you can actually like place where you want your video to look like, where you want it to be, right? You see how that works? So I can put it right here. I'm going to put it in the middle. So now you can take an area of your video and fill the entire place. So there is no wasted space, if that makes sense. And then obviously you can, um, you know, change what the headline looks like. You can change what the caption areas look like. And the captions can be taken from like YouTube um, gets makes creates captions for you. So that will all be done for you, which is nice from YouTube. And then you can change the caption on here if you really want to. It will kind of just take the 
description from your YouTube video and put it on there. So you can obviously always use our AI to generate a caption as well. So if I just click on the little AI wand, it will generate a caption for us. And uh, that's the power of uh, AI, which is really nice. You can um, also choose a cover image, which is sweet. And um, like, like it says right here, burn subtitles in the video. You can use the subtitles from your YouTube video, or you can upload your own if you like to do your own captions and subtitles. And again, you can choose an image um, from the video to put on there, which is really cool. And then what you can do is you can schedule it for a certain day, a certain day and time to upload this short, or you can just um, do publish now if you want to, right? So that's how you how you do different snippets, right? So that was one snippet, then we can go back and check the other one. You can create, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine different snippets um, from a long form video. And so, like I said, I, I definitely suggest uh, the fill option, but you can use the other one if you like how that looks better. Um, like I said, the captions are already there. You can, um, the subtitles, I mean, already there from YouTube. You can change the caption or use our AI there. You can put in your own cover image. And again, you can publish it now or schedule it. And lastly, you can also add uh, like an intro file and an outro file if you want um, you know, those to always be the same when you're doing these snippets from your long form YouTube videos. You can um, do a lot of cool settings that really make it yours. So yeah, a lot of cool things that you can do from long form to short form. I feel like a lot of people don't know this uh, as well. Um, you can definitely take this to the moon. So if you want to take your long form videos and make it into short form, this is a really great way that you can um, definitely, you know, create that kind of workflow. So let me know if you have any questions from YouTube to TikTok, or if you want me to do tutorials from long form YouTube to other platforms, go ahead and comment down below. And I'd love to do that for you as well. Again, I love hearing back from you guys, your questions so that we can get the most out of repurpose.io. Hopefully you guys had an awesome day and we will see you guys in the next video.